On this piece I'm going to pull a spout. Um, I've left the thickness up at the top. Um, you can see that there's um, intentionally a little bit more thickness up there than it is below. And this is still wet enough that I can, I can wiggle the shape a little bit. So I'm going to get my hands real wet and I'm going to start pulling my fingers up along the side here. I'll try to get my angle changed a bit. As you can see. So I'm trying to pull just this thick area of the clay and I'm pulling side to side as you can see. And I'm, I'm, uh, my clay is actually a little drier than I might have wanted it to be. One of the things to watch for when you're pulling um, a spout like this is that you don't really want to pinch your fingers all the way to the top. You really want the pressure to be through here and not right up to this edge. I'm not being entirely successful on this because the clay is a little on the thick side. But what I should be doing is stretching out this clay. And the reason I've left that thickness is so that I have clay to stretch out. You can't do this on a real thin rim. And oftentimes people try to pull spouts on a piece that's already um, gotten really thin and really tall on one end. That's not how you want to do it. You want to start with thick clay so that you have something to move. So you have that clay that you can bring both up and out. And you can see that this is already starting to angle forward a little bit. I'm going to keep pulling and I'm pulling to either side as you can see. At least you can see on the one side. Um, I'm pulling so that this is a, uh, the spout isn't just this tiny thing that comes off the front here. That it really pulls up um, on either side. And I'm going to do that for a little while until I've got it thinned out as much as I think I can get it. Um, I'm also working down low, like I said, at this bottom, so that it's not an abrupt transition, so that it gradually comes, the spout comes out of the wall of the clay. All right, so I've done this for a little while. Um, I'm going to get my chamois out of, oops, there's my chamois. I'm going to take a damp chamois and I'm going to drag it over that surface so that I end up with a smooth surface there, not that rough stuff from, from pulling it. Um, it's also a good idea to get my extra water out of my floor. Now I'm going to take two fingers on either side and a finger or two on the inside and I'm actually going to pull this whole spout out. Um, and I'm going to try to get that even. Looks like I've got a little bit of a right-handed uh, tilt to it, a little bit maybe exaggerated because I'm trying to do this for the camera. But you see that I've changed the actual shape of the pot, uh, not just kind of stretched out one side, but I've actually brought these edges together so that this part comes out. You also want to have a nice sharp edge on that inside edge, if you can do it. Um, not sharp, but a, an angle there. Uh, so that when the water or liquid is pouring out of this spout, it, uh, the water tension breaks on that edge and doesn't come dribbling down the front there. Um, and then of course I can get some of my, f uh, my fingertip prints away using a chamois, a sponge, or a rib in there. I can do the same thing on the inside, although they won't really show up all that much on the interior. And so this picture right now without a handle might be a two-handed uh, mixing, uh, mixing pitcher where you'd mix something in there and then pour it out of that side.